One of the projects they give you at, at Yale is to take a Shakespeare character and at the end of the semester perform 12 minutes of that character all on your own. You do all the adaptation of it. You you know, you know design the entire thing yourself. No, you don't show anybody a, a, a word of it until the final day, until you get up and do it. What is the adaptation? Is it still Shakespeare's lines or is it your own version of it? Both. You could, you're, well, you're, you're, you're required to use a certain number of Shakespeare's words and if you want to include music, if you want to include, you know, poem about that play or whatever, they sort of leave it open to interpretation beyond a certain parameter. And I remember thinking in my second year while working on this project, into the wee hours of the morning, like, if I make it through this, if I can pull this off and actually perform something on that day and not be kicked out of the school, I can, I'll be okay. Do they assign me the character? Did you pay They do. They give you a character that you think, like, will, will, will be hard for you. You know, they give you, like, so who are you, Lady Macbeth? <laughs> No, I could do Lady M. Um, uh, n no, I was a King Leontes from The Winter's Tale, which you know he he gets uh, he gets uh, he thinks he gets uh, cheated on, you know, um, which is not true, and then he finds out he's wrong. He banishes his wife, but makes a big mistake. Oh, what did you wind up doing? Did you do like a full like kabuki version? Of that? <laughs> yeah. No. Do you know what I did? I, because it was only um, one. There was only one show. I had this crazy idea that I would. Um, but there's a there's a scene in the in the early part of the play where he's convinced that he is, he's been cheated on, and he so he talks about himself as a cuckold, um, and he, so he talks about like searching for these cuckold horns. So he's like looking for these horns, and I, and I sort of I was like playing around with it, and I was like doing this, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have this great idea. I'll shave my head on stage looking for these cuckold horns. I, was made of sh I shaved my hair on stage looking for these things. And then I just had a shaved head for the rest of the, the, rest of the piece. <laughs> but it could be, yeah, it could be that kind of thing where like, you didn't realize the shaver wasn't really sharp enough and then, you know, like you never practice it, right? Never practice once, it. practice it. So it could have been just like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I got lucky. I mean, um, I remember after like finishing, you know, when I'm in the middle and I'm acting, like we're doing a whole lot of acting, and like the, sh the, the razor comes out, and, uh, and of course I come off and like look in the mirror and I'm like, that is a terrible gender really So I remember my classmate having to like clean it up in the back. Oh, and she, and then for the rest, of the, so pretentious to walk around and be like. I did it for a show. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It was for my art. Yeah. A-ball. Okay. 